Good evening, viewers. Welcome to the Assam Tribune. You are watching Superfast 10. I am Monisha, and here are the top 10 stories of the day. The Assam BJP is all set to carry out several programs across the state ahead of the Ram Temple's Pran Pratishtha ceremony. The programs will begin from January 18. The decision was taken during a meeting of the state BJP on Thursday at the state BJP headquarters in Guwahati in the presence of the Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma along with state BJP President Bhavesh Kalida and several other dignitaries. In a significant development towards empowering women self-help group members, the Assam government led by Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma has launched the Lakhpati Baidu scheme. This groundbreaking initiative aims to provide financial assistance of Rs 35,000 to 40 lakh women entrepreneurs. A tragic road accident took place in Assam's Nogao district where three individuals lost their lives on Thursday night. The accident took place in Nogao's Kaliabor where the three victims who were traveling together towards Miss Mari lost control of their vehicle and fell into, into a ditch. It is suspected that the mishap might have occurred due to low visibility. A suspected thief reportedly fled from police custody from a hospital in Guwahati on Friday morning while still wearing handcuffs, leaving the authorities baffled. As per sources, the theft accused escaped from police custody while being transported to a medical center at Lasgate area for a checkup. A manhunt has been launched to nab the escaped thief, police mentioned. In a terrifying incident, more than 35 wild elephants emerged from Manish National Park last night, wreaking havoc in Baksa Udalguri. The massive herd encroached upon numerous bighas of cropland, causing substantial damage to the agricultural holdings of local farmers. Tripura Chief Minister Manik Shaha announced on Thursday that the state has made significant strides in combating drug smuggling with 1,052 individuals arrested in 633 cases last year. This marks as a substantial increase in drug seizures and arrests compared to the previous two years, highlighting the state's commitment to the anti-drug campaign. Traffic restrictions have been imposed in Shillong city of Meghalaya in view of President Draupadi Murmu's maiden visit to the Northeast state. The Meghalaya police has requested the general public in the state to avoid travelling towards Mongap and in and around Shillong during the president's visit. The national capital recorded its lowest temperature of the season on Friday with a minimum temperature of 3.9 degrees Celsius. A thick layer of fog engulfed the city on Friday morning, which plunged visibility to zero. According to reports, the meteorological department mentioned that the mercury dipped 3 degrees below normal. Furthermore, due to the dense fog, 23 Delhi-bound trains were delayed by up to six hours. Stepping up its presence to show the flag and deter piracy and drone strikes, the Indian Navy has now deployed almost 10 frontline warships with marine commandos in the region stretching from the North and Central Arabian Sea to the Gulf of Aden. According to the officials, the Indian warships are keeping an eye on the situation to deter any incidents at sea. Dozens of Hamas terrorists, including several commanders, were killed in Israeli airstrikes in Gaza, the Israel Defense Forces said on Friday morning. An Israeli fighter jet struck a Hamas military compound and killed seven terrorists. One of the terrorists killed was a commander in Hamas's elite Lukba force who took part in the massacre of Israelis in Gaza area communities on October 7. That's all the news we have for you today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us. For more news and updates, stay connected with us on social media. Like, share and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, X, YouTube and Telegram. Tune in tomorrow at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Assam Tribune.